Okay, I'm going to show a quick little video on two ways that I've connected my Canon 6D via Wi-Fi to my laptop. Uh, both of these ways do not include internet access, so if I'm uh, out in a field somewhere doing something like that, these are ways I could still shoot tethered. Um, one of them is through this little device called Hutu um, Travel Mate Companion, I think it's called. Basically, this will be the Wi-Fi connection. I do have this one powered in. They do sell some that have a power supply built in. This particular one is $20 if you're going to be somewhere that has power. If not, uh, they sell another one with a power supply built in, um, like a little battery pack. And I think it can even charge your iPhone, things like that. And I think it sells for $30 or $35, somewhere around there. But I happen to have this cheap little device. Um, so basically, plug it in, turn it on. It doesn't have to be connected to anything else, uh, but it does need that power supply. Then I'll go to my laptop. Oh, sorry, it's not gonna connect to the internet. And you can see here I am connected to the TripMate Nano, and that's what this little device is. Uh, so once I'm connected to that, now I just want my camera to also talk to that. So I will turn the camera on, go into my menus, and right here on the 6D, you'll see the Wi-Fi function. I click on that click on the laptop and then if I want to in this case I already have it set here but for you guys I'll just show how I went through that um, we'll change set find network hit OK and here's my couple options so I'll click on tripmate nano hit OK enter my password and then it'll connect from there. Uh, in this case, again, I do already have it previously set up. So I'm going to go back to that. Wait a second. Then choose my set. And that's what it'll be like once you already have it saved. Connect to device, I'll hit OK. Now, as it's doing that, keep in mind, I'm keeping my camera on. Uh, the second you turn it off for any reason, it will disconnect. Here you see my EOS uh, utility is already starting up, and there this popped up. Uh, the reason that did that automatically was the preferences that I had laid out. The preferences on the EOS utility, uh, this comes on the CD with the camera when you buy it. Basic settings, I have it to, hold on, let me put this camera down so it doesn't vibrate quite so much, pardon the noise there. So I have it set to show camera settings remote shooting screen, that's what this little square in the background is. Add WFT pairing software to startup folder. I forgot to mention that. Um, you will want to, once you install the CD, do a search for W, I always want to say WTF, WFT, and you'll see this pairing come up. Click on that. You only have to do that on the initial setup, um, and then basically it will show that the camera is available to connect. You connect it, and then you're available to move back to this. Sorry if this is confusing. Um, so add that to the startup folder. Uh, destination folder, you pick wherever you want the photos to initially go. Um, File name I'm not going to worry about. Download images, not worried about. Um, remote shooting, you really probably don't want to try transferring raw photos to your laptop via Wi-Fi. That'll take a long time. I do just JPEGs. 
So in RAW plus JPEG mode, only transfer JPEGs. It'll still take approximately eight seconds for the photo to transfer over. Linked software, I actually, by default, I think it's the Digital Photo Professional. I actually changed it to none. And then we'll close out of here. Again, this is still up and running. Once this is up here, I don't do anything with it. Once I have my preferences set, we're good. Go and open Lightroom. And you'll want to go to your file and go to auto import, enable auto import. If you haven't done this before, go to your auto import settings. You could choose the folder. I want the folder to be the same folder that I have my EOS utility downloading to. So in this case, it is on my desktop. And then I actually have it move those files into a, another folder. So uh, from there, and I could even have it apply a setting if I want it to, in this case I do. All right, so from there, once I take a photo, Canon software will put it in this folder here. Lightroom's watching this, I'm sorry, into this folder here. Lightroom is watching this folder. Once it sees photos go into there, it moves it to a different file and they all will appear right here. So to give you an example, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture now. And it takes again about eight seconds and the photo will appear. And that's very dark, sorry, but um, again, this is just an example to show you how this works. Okay, so that is with the Hutu. Um, I'm going to stop this video now and do a separate one for the ad hoc.